All right, guys, started playing some Riff and Top Lane, but this time we are back with the old meta build, the T-Force Riven build. I don't know if you guys can still remember it. It was like meta about half a year ago for a short time. Um, you basically go for Trinity Force into Hydra, and what you're going to get is a mix of uh, raw damage, cooldown. Uh, you have the attack speed. Basically makes you a absolute god at like 1v1ing and splitting. So I'll showcase you guys today. Also for this matchup, we have the Conqueror Page, we also have Transcendence, and we got Scorch with a D-Shield. I'm gonna respect him. Say so yeah, level 1, 2, 3, we'll likely just play it out safe. I'm gonna give the uh, Aatrox the space he, uh, that he's looking for. Uh, once we have level 3, we have two options. We have either Kane ganking top lane. Well, I don't know if he's going to do it, but we'll see. Um, or... We will just keep on playing it slowly. And I'll play him level 3. So, either way. We have the wave in a pretty good spot. So, we'll see what happens. This is like one of the best spots where you can be in when you play against an, an Aatrox. Because you're standing pretty close to the turret. He's dead. Cancel my auto. I still have Ignite. I might live. I should be able to. Yeah, you, you're... Um, you should be surprised, man. Like, um, I keep forgetting it myself, honestly. But Kane is such a extremely fast champ for playing jungle camps, man. It still surprises me, like, every single day. Yeah, we're probably dead. Yeah. Yeah, Kane is like giga fast, like clearing in, in the jungle. He can literally gank your lane at like 2 minute 30. While being level 3. Warwick is also another like great example of this, as you can see. Apparently like bow junglers are rushing top lane like crazy. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> it's okay. Just the wave is like shoving into Aatrox, which is super bad for me, but we'll see if we can fix it. Anyway, the uh, plan this game is that we're obviously going to build a 24 with a T-Force build. So that means that we're going to be building into Hardbound Axe, then we're going to go into Sheen, and then we go into Kindle Gem. And once we have Trinity Force, we will then go into Hydra, and that will give us a fair amount of like ability haste, as well as the AoE damage. Not bad. Let's try. He lost the uh, the bone plate. Only unfortunate thing is I don't have ignite. Good trade. I procced my stuff. Now we can go back. I wish I had ignite at this stage. Would have killed him right here if I had it. He's level 5, I'm level 3, and that's because of the, the, the Warwick gank, like, crushing it. Yeah, we lose that one. Alright, we're level 4, this guy's one level ahead of me. Starting out with a disadvantage. Is this the bone plane? Okay, I could technically kill him now, but it needs to come down to how he's going to overextend. Walk backwards. I can't get hit by the uh, center of the queue. I have Ignite now, so if he does that again, I'm going to kill him. How should I proceed? I lose that CS. I got the level 5 now. Things are completely different. Ooh, he's made a bad mistake. That's a bad one. He could have, in theory, killed me with one combo, but I can burst him sooner than Aatrox can. There we go. I want to see if I can at least get my hands on, like, one plate. Hmm. 
Nice. Let's get back. All right, so first things first, we are going to go for the Sheen. And along with it, get this one. There we go. I might actually just get Sheen first, and then we take the Ruby Crystal, because that's going to be a little bit more efficient for me. I really like the T-Force Riven build, honestly, but one thing that I never really liked about it was the, um, the components for the items. Like... Once you have the item, it's really good, but Sheen itself, like rushing it, you're better off taking raw damage. Um, Heartbound X is the same thing. You get raw damage, but you also get attack speed, which is not really a bad thing, but having raw damage alone is just better. Violence so, violence. until Trinity Force, the components are kind of moi, just decent. But once you have the item, it's completely different. So... It's always a bit tricky to work around the uh, components. I never enjoyed it. Yeah, they're fighting for these. But... He's walking that way. Alright, cool. So now we just play slowly. Unfortunately, Atrix got a kill. But that's alright. So much death. You know what I like so much about the, the T Force build? Like the the most fun thing about it? It's like when you build T Force, like Trendy Force, and you combine it with Hydra, your combos feel so good. And I think we've all experienced this once before. Because, like, if you combine Alacrity with the uh, attack speed from Shindy Force, it feels incredibly smooth. Even for people who are really bad at, like, doing rhythm combos, it's going to feel really good. Hey, I, I pressed my shield, man. What do you mean? This is pretty bad for me. I can probably bait. I'm gonna I'm gonna bait it out for him. Oh, I failed that. I'm gonna see if I can bait it out. I, I don't think he knows that Darius is here. No, yeah. he walked up too soon. Still a headset, but that's all right. In theory, I could kill him right now. The way how he's playing it, I could kill him. But his bone plate is back up. Um, so it's really hard for me to do it. In case you don't know about bone plate, that this is something that most people don't know. Um, if you play against some dude that plays with bone plate, and you want to know when it's actually down, um, what you want to do is click on the champ, and then look on the top left. Uh, I'm going to show you. Here. If Bone Plate is down, it will show an icon on the bottom right of the box. It will show the picture from the Bone Plate and its timer. So you always know when the Bone Plate is down. It's something that most people don't know. Okay, I'm going to kill him right now. I'll give him the space and we all in. Got him. Yeah, I proc the bone plate from him, and then I, you know, I wa I waited until I get my combo, and then we all in. Pretty sweet kill like that. Uh, yeah, all Warwick is back up here. I'm not surprised. Okay, yeah, right. Warwick is always an interesting champ. <laughs> this thing runs at you at like... Like 4,000 movement speed. <clears throat> I'll sell it. I want my I want my Trinity Force right now. I don't care. I suppose we go for plates. Man, like I died twice by Warwick. 
It sucks so much, man. My uh, my lane is so good. But Warwick keeps ruining it. Um, because the gank was good for him. He got a kill. But now Aatrox can shove the lane out. Well, at least we're back in time. So he doesn't get blades. But still. Oh, that sucks. I think Warwick is coming topside. He got the Herald. I think I'm getting ganked. Eh, it's not falling for it. No, he didn't fall for it. I tried baiting, didn't work. Sucks. If um, if I queued him here, like he would walk up far enough and I queue him, I could basically all in right after and then beat him. Because I have enough ability haste to pull it off, actually. I got way enough. So I would definitely win. I can burst Aatrox sooner than Aatrox can kill me. So I would definitely win. Um... But Aatrox was standing there. He did not take the risk. He kept staying away far enough to the point I can't reach him. So. And then he hits like a Q right after. What conflict I think I can probably kill him right now. He's overextending. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he's dead. Yep. Got him. Well, seems like it still paid off pretty well. He got plate, I got kill. I'd say mine is more worth. Because <laughs> I can shove the wave. And he's dead for the next 10 seconds. In fact, I think I might actually get a plate before it goes away. Definitely more work for me. That wave's gonna crash under as well. And I'm gonna backboard. I'll get my uh, my Warhammer and then I'll get this one. Or I can actually go for Lucidity Boots. That's also an option. I'll go with that instead. It's a bit more safe because it allows me to outplay Aatrox more. Um, but it's so beautiful to see this, by the way. I'm like four kills. This guy's like one kill. Um, he got multiple plates, but I'm actually still ahead of him. This is everything that happened. He's been benefiting so much from Walwick. But I still win. Yeah, that's true. And I just, he's probably going to be a lot more careful now. I need to get his bone plate down before I approach him. Yep, got the bone plate down. Now we're gonna walk around so he doesn't see anything. He probably saw me. Okay, let's go. And we got him. His Q was on cooldown, so we win. Now we go for this one. Yep. And now we back off. So now we go for Warhammer. We are going to be building the uh, pickaxe as well. And I think I'm probably going to run ball lane right after. We could also go for life steal. I think I'm going to do this instead because that allows me to stay in lane for when I do fight. And it's a little bit less AD, but like in return, we have life steal so we can stay longer. Yeah. 
Uh, let's go top. We can just all in him. It doesn't matter if he's got bone play. We are stronger now. Walvik. Like, the whole game. Every death I have is a Walvik. All the time. <laughs> this Ajax got saved so many times by Walvik. I thought, you know what, like... There is a lot of stuff going on on the map, right? I just walked back in lane I came from. I believe I came from this way. Or this way, I don't know. Either way, like, I came from here. It's very unlikely for a jungler to be top lane if I just come around. And especially when the turret is down. Like, you, you often don't see a jungler, like, around here if this happens. It's just always a Warwick, man. When, when I jump in, he, he's always there. All the time. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, Warwick and Aatrox are duo queuing or something, because they're always like... That Warwick is always ready. In every scenario. Ah, we can chase. Oh, it's probably dead. Noise. I'm going back top lane to kill Aatrox. Let's go. New Triforce tech, yep. Yep. Trying out this new build from the the old meta. Nah, it's getting away. I want to get the red buff. I'm going to take it. Um, Or Volcane's going up there, I guess. I'll take the red buff real quick. He's not going there. Three people mid. Got a scary Tinkom, by the way. Hmm. I think I'm gonna run uh bot lane after taking the wave up here. So we can probably dive uh surfing. Let's take it. Choose your own path. Hmm, we got the we got a good build for taking turrets, so we're just gonna keep going. In this case, I would probably run ball lane most of the time now, but let's take it. Got it. Uh, we gotta go top lane because they're crushing it there. Let's go. I'll get my Hydra. I can't do this 1v3. I will die. I will not live. Uh, maybe I can try stopwatch at least. Wait. I'll give it a try. I got stopwatch. I, I can't do that. Man. No. They got three champions combined together. I can't change that. Like, I'll get Warwick ulted. Then I'll have uh, their ADC absolutely crushing it. <laughs> I will not live, man. They got Zillion to revive. <laughs> Nasty combination. Hey, uh, by the way, FMA rules. Thank you for the resub two months. Enjoying the, your awesome or amazing content. Trying to learn from the most of you. Hey, thank you, FMA rules. Also, thank you for coming back. Thank you for the two months.
It's a little bit hard to believe that I'm winning lane super hard, but I lost all my towers and all that stuff. That Warwick has done quite a bit this game. I'm gonna walk around. I think that someone's here. This will not work. He's dead. This game is... Uh, yeah, what can I say? I'm really fed. But man, they have the anti riffin team comp. Like Zillion, Walwick. A giga broken AD carry. Like all combining one team. All their champions can lock me for quite some time. My spirit is not lost. I find myself in the same scenario over and over. I can't 1v3 this. They have champions, I can't 1v3. If they picked other champs and, and we would be in the same scenario, it would be very easy to 1v3. The champs they have right now, I can't 1v3 it. It's because of the Warwick and the Zilli and ruining it. These champs are made to like like counter me. At least Warwick is... You can do something against Warwick, but... Zillion is like the perfect pick into Rhythm. Um, if you take it in combination with a champion that can CC lock you, like Warwick. It's really hard to deal with a champ like that. Kill Seraphine next. Yeah. Seraphine's up here. Somewhere. I'm not gonna chase Seraphine. Big spawn scene 25. Um, if we are lucky, some person might actually walk here. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. I'll get back then. Yeah, they got dragon. Oh. Yeah, that's the CC lock I'm talking about. <laughs> Disgusting team comp. What are you gonna do, right? They got an instant CC lock. Warwick just hits R and that's it. It's not really difficult to hit an R on Warwick. Oh, he's going in. Ah, oh, failed his ultimate.
it's actually winnable for my team. Or maybe not, no. Ah, boy, they're dead. Good luck. He's, she has no mana. Got him. Oh, let's see what we can do. We'll probably get like two turrets or something. Uh, quick question: Do you ever get it? Uh, do you ever switch into a hardcore gamer mindset during the game? Uh, I mean, technically, I already do. You mean like me? You mean like tryharding and flaming people? Or I don't know. When I play League, I'm I'm just relaxed. I uh. This is my uh, hardcore way of playing League, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm always relaxed. Get the jump off. Choose your own nice stuff. <laughs> Get cleaned up by a Darius ultimate there. You kidding, dude? Like that Aatrox is trying to uh No no no, it's not gonna help. I'll take one more wave. Drake spawns in fifty. Second, I'll get my distance. <laughs> you wish you were that relaxed, you would have a mental boom. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm an old soul in this game, I don't care at this point anymore. I feel nothing in the so when I win or lose I don't I don't care. I've got to like pass that point where I still care. I, I still enjoy League, don't get me wrong. Like don't worry. I love this game. I just have no uh I got no goal in this game anymore. It's been a long time. I've already unlocked everything in League. I've got every champion League. I've got like all the skins I want. I've got the Challenger physical rewards. I've been Challenger five years in a row. I unlocked everything in League that I wanted to achieve since I started this game. I've got in the top 10 in Challenger twice in a row. My spirit is not lost. 
like, what else? Like, I've done tournaments for a year. Like, I've got in. I've got to the point where I don't care if I win or lose anymore. I'm, I'm just enjoying League right now. I guess that's why it also. I maybe maybe that's why I just. I never have a mental boom. Like, I don't care if I lose. I feel absolutely nothing if I lose. Now, back in the day, in Season 2 and 3 and 4 and all that stuff, if I was in promotion for Diamond, for example, I I, I, I felt my, my, my heart just beating like crazy and I just wanted to win. That's the only thing I cared for. Like, I haven't felt that in, in years, man. It's been too long since I felt it. I love that rush. Like I love when you play a game and then you you feel like your heart beating because you wanna you wanna get something that you've been fighting for for so long. But yeah, like I I haven't had that in league for so long and not really in any game honestly. Whatever game I play nowadays, I don't feel that anymore. I don't know. I'm just enjoying gaming, I guess. But that's about it. That's the difference, I guess. Like, you guys have, like, something to fight for. Probably most of you guys have the goal to reach Diamond or Master or whatever. Like, that's that's fun. Just, just keep playing. It's That's the most fun about playing competitive games, you know? But at some point, you, uh, you've you reached your goal and you're done. It, it will happen someday. You're getting old? Well, maybe maybe that's also it. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's just part of being getting older, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's just because I get older. I'll never win that. <laughs> Oh, this guy's testing me out. Wow. I'll never win this. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? I was stuck forever. <laughs> I could not move. I was getting knocked back any like pretty much everywhere. <laughs> What's going on, man? I actually did that turn pretty well. I, I started off the team fight so so well I got the ADC out. So I thought it was perfectly winnable when I was down here, but the fight kept going for so long and, and everyone started healing off so much. I, I did like the same damage as them like healing stuff. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Let's go for this. <clears throat> oh, well, actually, I'm just gonna keep keep waiting. I'll get it when I can purchase it. You try coaching your girlfriend in leak and she cried. I mean, did you force your girlfriend to be coached on, or did she ask to be coached? Because coaching a person can be pretty, um, it can get pretty toxic. Let's put it that way. Uh, well, not toxic in a bad way, but in a good way, you know? It's really hard for a person to just pick up the information constantly and hearing that they fail and, and like, what they need to do better. Like, that's something that not many people want. So that's why I asked that, you know? If your girlfriend wants coaching from you... If she, if she doesn't want it from you, then... I got quite understand. I think that they will come up here. Maybe they don't. 
No, they didn't. They go Drake right away. <clears throat> well. Your silver four. Mm. You got a lot to improve, man. You got a lot to improve. Enjoy it while you can, man. Silver being silver player is so much fun. If you ever if you ever get high elo, man, and you look back to these days, you wish you were silver again. It's fun to learn how to play League. It really is. Oh, they run up so fast. Oh, that sucks. Uh, probably the game's lost. <laughs> I want to see the damage charge. I've done so much this game. It sucks that we lose. I don't think that my teammates will be able to defend this. I doubt it. Hmm. Oh, oh, Bane's going in. This might be winnable. Oh, no, she's got... No! No, oh. aww. <laughs> Bane was jumping like like a tank in the, in the, in the team fight. <laughs> Either way, this is uh, Riven Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.